Alright, guys. It's me. Zeke here. Alright, I had to make sure I'm GoPro showing. Uh, first day with my GoPro Hero 4 session. Eh, it's okay. Still working on some things. Looks kind of blurry and all. I think my phone can feel better than this thing. As of right now, but you know, we're still working on some stuff. But, uh, trying to do a review inside on this, it just didn't work out too well. So I came out here. But, um, a little bit better lighting. I'm going to have to figure out some of my lighting conditions. But anyways, today I'm going to be doing a review on a pin rod. Now, this is a rod that a pin pretty much uh now when it says a pin rod most people think oh the size of a pin no mm -mm. no no mm -mm. unless you have like one of those huge pins that you get at the dollar tree or something that's how big it okay so here's my hand it goes all the way down to right whoops uh, but i mean it's eight inches long okay if you know how long that is but it's eight inches so um but you just get it and hold on, let me flip everything around, let me find where that real seat is, and then you just pull everything out. So, you get that, and then, uh, the rod was $9, everything could be a bit better, uh, the real drag could be better, but like I said, $9, you can't beat that, so, um, this will probably end up a trout rod, so I'll put SOS two pound SOS trout line uh strong obscure and small yeah I don't know if that's the right order but that's what it stands for but I have caught a baby bass on this uh probably about a it was a fingerling so um just spawned so uh but um I honestly thought I had caught like a leaf or something he wasn't fighting that hard but anyways so I'm just gonna put this on here. It's pretty light rod, you know. Um, now there's me and a fellow were talking about how people said that they're going out and catching uh, like 21 pound carp on these. No, not if you had like the pin rod extreme, which this is like a knockoff version because it was nine dollars. So, but uh, anyways, reels pretty nicely. I don't know if you can hear that reel, but uh, you know pretty nice uh what else oh yeah my tackle i'll grab my tackle too go ahead and collect this down but that's the rod it's uh i think it comes up to my waist if that yeah comes up to my waist so um but so anyways but there's that and now we'll go over the tackle that i keep in my bag uh I just got some crappy magnet in the crappy magnet. Um, that's like a white and silver color. I don't know. Uh, then you got your sartreuse uh, color. Um, so, uh, then we go in here, and this is just like a little uh, pencil pouch, pencil pouch from school. So, but anyways, put my rooster tail back over there. Sorry, rooster tail got my wrong spot. Okay, well, anyway, that's my rooster tail. That's what I caught that baby bass on, this exact rooster tail. Uh, so, it's like $2 at my tackle shop. Um, then I have this knockoff daredevil. Uh, then I have a real daredevil. Um, oh, that's still, uh, we were fishing for like minnows one day, so I had to cut a trout magnet down. But, little piece of that was in there but uh that's just um some orvis clippers uh some trout magnet bobbers um i also got this one that color got two colors those are about two bucks first tail two clippers three i don't even know but uh then in here um i got the trout magnet neon kit um and then just right there i have a beetle spin but right there's bubble right here that pinkish color pinkish white bubblegum hot pink white sartreuse orange and sartreuse i don't know what color that is like a moss color i guess bluegill color um then it comes with your golden hooks uh silver hooks and your black hooks and i also threw some jig heads in there for crappie with the crappie magnet but uh that about covers everything that i carry um so 
like I said, uh, the review was mostly about this, uh, so, sorry I kind of got off topic, but, uh, sorry I can't go fishing anytime, I'll be, I'll go fishing this weekend, oh, uh, I got a Boy Scout thing, but, uh, um, where I'm going to, uh, there's been some things that have known to get stolen up there, so, a phone charger, so, you know, if somebody's going to be so desperate to take a phone charger, I'm pretty sure they'll take a GoPro, so, uh, but I'm going to leave this at the house, um, uh, I don't know, uh, so not this weekend, but the next weekend I'll probably get a fishing vid video in, um, so I don't know what it could be, uh, for Easter, I think I may be getting a Tinkara, Tinkara, um, so that's for another video what a Tinkara is, but, uh, it could be, it'll probably have this in it, a fly rod, you know, have a little bit of everything in there. Maybe a little bit of catfishing, you know, so, cut bait, work, cut bait pretty, works pretty good in that pond. Maybe do a little bit of turtling, since I'll be out for spring break, you know. Uh, that's, well, that's when I'm getting out for spring break, so, may do a little bit of turtling, uh, yeah, that's about it, but do some turtling, catfishing. There's a bunch of turtles in that pond, so I think we caught a bunch of them out. It's about time for them to start sticking their heads up. Uh, there's an old boy that lives down there at that pond that, uh, I told him he's more than welcome. Because my grandma owns it, but, uh, I don't live near her, and I would only go up there on the weekends. But, uh, there's an old boy that fishes it a bunch, and I told him, hey, throw some turtle jokes out if you want. Just check them every, every other day or something. I like them to check them every day, but, you know, sometimes you just can't do that, you know. So, they'll be fine left on there a day or two. So, uh, but, um, anyways, but, uh, thank y'all for watching this video. God bless America and tight lines, everyone. Bye-bye.